there's hardly a single person in the world that has never heard of the name of an Italian fashion brand called Gucci. The word Gucci is synonymous to luxury, opulence and high society. However, the story of the brand has not only the timeless pieces of the designer's art, but also high-profile scandals that will be brought far away in the future. Such a huge story happened to Maurizio Gucci, a grandson of the founder of Gucci, an Italian designer Gucci o Gucci. Half a year ago, in March, first photos from the set of Ridley Scott's new film, House of Gucci. The film, that is to be premiered on November 24th, will tell us about the Maurizio Gucci's story of his life and his murder, organized by his ex-wife Patrizia. The film has a great cast – Lady Gaga, Jared Leto, Al Pacino and Jeremy Irons. The role of Maurizio Gucci was entrusted to Adam Driver, an American actor also known for his roles in Marriage Story, Black K. Clansman and the Star Wars film saga. In this video, we'll look into how the character of the last Gucci heir has been put into life on the screen. Despite the fact that actions take place in the 90s, it's not a good idea to write off the style of the person who once headed one of the biggest fashion houses of the world, as well as the efforts of the stylists working on the film. They say history repeats itself after all, doesn't it? Like this video and get ready to listen while watching the Be Bigger opening. Maurizio Gucci was born in 1948. In 1983, he inherited the Gucci control stock after the death of his father. Following long family twists and turns and wasting lots of money for nothing, Maurizio sold his share. In 1995 he was shot, and in 1998 his ex-wife was found guilty of ordering Maurizio's murder. Maurizio Gucci was always wearing suits, as any head of a huge company should do. Of course, it's not quite true to say that 40 years ago there was a huge variety of suit styles, but rank still imposes obligations. Maurizio often wore a dark blue two-piece suit with narrow vertical chalk stripes pattern. Sometimes he teamed jackets and trousers of different textures and color shades. Most often his jacket was double-breasted, and it was usually worn with a white shirt and a tie that had a geometric pattern, low-key or contrasting. There was a tweed suit made of a more dense fabric with larger weaves. Apart from the black and dark blue options, Maurizio used to wear lighter shades, like light gray suits. Senior Gucci could add some accessories to his suits, one of which was a minimalistic watch on his left hand. Sometimes he also wore a gold bracelet. However, the watch and the bracelet were hidden by the sleeves of his shirts and jackets. By the way, Maurizio used to wear glasses that always had the same frame, but sometimes had different colors. Forty years ago, such a frame with a double bridge was quite everyday but nowadays it's considered to be vintage. Now let's look at how the custom designers have worked on the Adam Driver's look. They have definitely tried not only to represent the original Maurizio style, but also add some details, which perhaps would be closer and more interesting to a modern cinema girls. At least the upcoming film still is an imaginative work, which means you can add a piece of fiction in it. Just like the real Maurizio Gucci, Adam Driver appears wearing a grey tweed suit made of dense fabric, but white shirt is replaced with a light blue one, and a light purple tie has a slight pattern. There's a bright blue pocket square on the chest. The jacket is teamed with dark grey trousers made of smooth soul-colored fabric. They are worn with a black leather belt with a golden Gucci logo on the buckle. The shoes are presented by a pair of a black leather moccasins with a similar buckle as the belt. Pay attention that the accessories here are the aforementioned vintage aviator glasses, the watch on his left hand and a gold signet ring on his little finger. However, Maurizio didn't wear any rings himself, maybe just the wedding one on his ring finger. Neither he was seen wearing any Gucci logos on his clothes. Another Adam Driver's look in the film It's also a suit consists of a soul-colored dark blue jacket with golden buttons teamed with loose grey-blue velvet trousers. 
he is wearing the same pair of black moccasins and the watch and the ring on his hand. In this look, the shirt isn't so colored but has a small pattern. The tie is also quite cathy, with diagonal contrasting stripes. Of course, these are not the only suits that the actor wore on the set to embody his character. And how many suits do you have in your wardrobe? Talking about informal clothes, the archives have little information about how Maurizio dressed when not at work, so it's difficult to speculate on this. Nevertheless, the creators of House of Gucci have worked it out too. Let's look at what they've managed to do. Literally, the only informal outfit of Maurizio Gucci that was documented in photographs consisted of a v-neck white shirt with contrasting dark vertical stripes and rolled up sleeves, white trousers and a leather belt, most likely brown. White may not be a practical decision, but it looks like a summer option. When it comes to informal looks with a shot, Adam Driver appears in the upcoming film wearing a dark green shirt and quite loose sun-colored trousers, having added a pair of brown leather moccasins with a silver buckle, the golden details, the buttons on the cuffs, the buckle of the brown leather belt, the ring and the watch case look appropriate within the whole look. The same trousers appear in the official film trailer, but the shot is different here. It's light green with large contrasting checks. In their turn, the looks with a dark blue jacket look semi-official. Adam Driver put it on, for example, decorated with a silk pocket square, with a white shirt which had large blue checks and beige trousers. The second option was a warm milky sweater with a high collar. The latter turned out to be especially comfy. The idea to wear cozy sweaters was obviously appreciated by the filmmakers. Perhaps the most popular photo from the set is the one where Adam Driver's character is wearing a beige sweater with a large pattern and a white ski outfit. By the way, this one was the first photo from this film set ever published online on Instagram. The look even is quite modern. If you imagine that the sweater and the ski pants combination is a deliberate stylish choice. But the genuine vintage is in the looks with a long beige trench coat and a warm coat of the same color. The first one is a long double-breasted trench with epaulets on shoulders and buckled sleeve straps, which you may have seen in the wardrobe of one of your family members, as they were highly popular 30 or 40 years ago. However, fashion is cyclical, and such models are popular today too, especially with those who often wear suits. The trench is revealing a vintage multi-layered look. The character is wearing a warm sweater with horizontal lines, geometric patterns and a crew neck, as well as a light blue shirt under it. The outfit also has a pair of dark loose trousers and dark brown leather shoes. The vintage look with the long warm coat seems to be more official since it's worn over the dark blue three-piece formal suit. The coat is double-breasted with a dark contrasting inset on the collar and broad shoulder area. The aforementioned suit is made of a sole-colored dark fabric worn with a classic white shirt and geometrically patterned tie. Here are the glasses, the ring and the watch on the left hand. Such a combination of clothes and accessories results in a look of a from 80s to 90s European businessman. The pictures you've seen in the video are just a part of what is awaiting us in the film, which is to be watched at the end of November. We may suppose that the image of Maurizio Gucci in the upcoming film has been made from several elements. A little information about the style of real Maurizio himself, knowledge of the man's style in the from 80s to 90s, as well as the fantasy and creativity of costume designers working on the movie. Perhaps it's true that fashion trends are cyclical. Take for example Maurizio's aviator's glasses, that were worn by lots of men back then, and now they may become an interesting vintage detail of your look. What do you think? May the 30 years old outfits become popular again? What if the film gives them a rise? It's up to you to decide whether the stylists managed to recreate the image of the person in the film or whether they've done too much or too little. Make sure you've commented your opinion below the video. Like it and subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss more interesting videos about men's style.